why don't we talk a little bit about the genesis of the editions? Because this fourth edition was published in 2009. Mm -hmm. The first edition was published in... 1982. 1982. So, so that's why. what has changed and what has evolved in your thinking to distinguish this from the first edition? Oh, my goodness. Well, I think this reflects a lot of the research that's out there. I try to keep current with everybody's research. Some research is better than others. But uh, try to keep the, uh, the book current there. Uh, basically, the, the book is centered around the tasks of mourning. What are the tasks of mourning? When somebody loses a loved one to death, there are certain things that they need, that need to be accomplished. And uh, so that's sort of the, 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 the nexus of the, of, the, of, the, of, the, of the book, the model. And uh, the texts are, you know, you first of all have to believe that it happened and then deal with the affective pieces and then adjust to a world without the person and then find a way to move on without necessarily disconnecting from the dead person, some way to memorialize the person and move on. So. And how does your, how would you distinguish your work, say, from exam, for example, from Kubler-Ross? Well, Dr. Kubler-Ross was talking about stages of dying and then along the way somebody, you know, used those stages for bereavement. She never intended that, uh, in my judgment, having done research with her in the early days. Um, but I think any model that talks about stages really gets locked into sequential uh, movement. Yeah, mm -hmm. and um, so by using the task model, which comes from developmental psychology, mm -hmm. there are certain tasks. These tasks have a fluidity. They can be worked, reworked. Uh, some are very easy to accomplish. Others, you know, cause people to have some problems. And uh, but it's a good model because if somebody's stuck in their grief then it gives you a, an overlay, a model, to figure out how they're stuck and why they're stuck and how to help them get moved on.